If you are into hydroponics or thinking about getting into hydroponics, this video is for you. So I wanted to make this video today because after a number of years of doing hydroponic experiments using a liquid fertilizer option like this General Hydroponics Flora series, I've decided to switch over to a powdered form to make the solution from now on. And this is called Veg Plus Bloom. I'm pretty sure that's the brand name. But there's different versions of this, and it's all basically a powdered version, but it just depends on what type of water you mix it in. So this one is called RO slash soft because it has a lower TDS. My tap water has a lower TDS. But there's other versions for harder tap water, uh, and then there's some other things, uh, other products related to this particular brand. All powder options. So the main reason why I decided to switch over from a liquid option to a powdered option is not really because of the cost uh, somewhat. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but it's mostly because it's a heck of a lot easier to mix up a nutrient solution with just using this powder. All I have to do is take uh, either three quarters to one teaspoon of this powder, mix it in a gallon of water or however many gallons I need, uh, use a little bit of warm water to dissolve it, and then fill the rest up with cold water, and, and that's it. I mix the whole thing, and it's done. Using the liquid option like this is a little bit more tedious. You have to mix up one teaspoon of each of these and dump it in the gallon of water. You cannot dump it in. You're not supposed to dump each one all at once. You have to dump in a teaspoon of one in, and it has to be in a certain order, so this one, then this one, then this one. And then you have to mix up that for uh, a, a couple seconds, maybe 10 seconds or so, just mix it up. Then you got to add the next one, mix it up. Then you got to add the next one and mix it up. And then depending on the phase of growth, you will be changing the uh, amount of the, of each that you put in here. And with the uh, powdered version here, you don't change the amount except for d depending on the type of plant you're growing, it might require more fertilizer. It might be a nutrient hungry plant. So you might use a little more of the powder per gallon, but you're not changing any ratios with this like you are with the liquid option. So using the liquid op option over the past no or the number of years has worked out great for me. It's just that it takes, it's more work. It's a lot more measuring and a lot more um, stirring and mixing. You, do, you simply cannot mix all of these together into one container because they interact with each other and it would ruin it. And that's why they're separated. And once you mix up the nutrient solution, it's shelf life, or once you make the solution by putting these in a gallon of water or however, however many gallons you're going to put it in, um, it's going to have a shelf life and it's not going to last as long. So with the powdered version and getting into the talking about the price here, um, with the powdered version, it has a very long shelf life because it's not in a liquid form. It's not going to fall out of solution. And once you mix it up, the shelf life is going to be essentially the same as mixing this up. But that doesn't really matter because usually when you mix up a solution, you're using it immediately. But just kind of putting it in, in there for context. Now, as far as price goes, um, I worked it out, and on average, mixing up a gallon of solution with these or mixing up a gallon of solution with the powder version is basically the same. On average, it's about $0.30 cents per gallon is what it works out to be. Uh, a quart of each of these is going to make 94 to 189 gallons of solution, and one pound of this powder is going to make, uh, I think I wrote it down here, uh, 75 to 113 gallons of solution. The downside, even though you know this might make a little bit more and this might make a little bit less, but like I said, currently at the time of making this video, the average price is going to work out to $0.30 cents a gallon, so it's basically the same. However, um, depending on how you mix these up, if you're doing like three uh, teaspoons of one and two teaspoons, two teaspoons of one and then one teaspoon of another, eventually you're going to run out of one of these containers before the other one. And you can't make a nutrient solution without one of these containers. If I take this one away, you can't make solution with just these two. So you immediately have to buy another quart of, or however, whatever size you want to get, another container of one of these items. Now, if you buy these all at once, that's how you get that 30 cents per gallon at the time of making this video, um, on average. You can't you don't, you don't really want to buy an entire kit of these just to replace one of them because then you're going to have a bunch of containers just sitting around you're not going to use for probably a little while. Um, and you know, maybe you use this and maybe you have a different um, procedure that you do or whatever. Maybe you buy it in a much larger bulk, bigger like gallon containers. You know, that's, that's different. But for me, I'm just speaking from my experience. So 
If you just have to buy one of these, the problem is that when you buy just one, you're actually spending more than if you buy these in a, in a, in a whole kit. So I think last time I looked on Amazon, if you're just buying, say, one of this, it's about $15 shipped if you have, a, if you have Amazon Prime. So the whole entire kit of this costs about $38 right now. This powder here, once you're done using it, or when you're close to done using it, you just buy another one of these, and heck, you can even mix it all together into one container if you wanted to. And at the time of making this video, this is only about $32. So if the price is around the same, why not just go with simplicity? And that's the main reason why I'm converting over to the powdered version, because it just makes things a heck of a lot easier, both with uh, having to purchase more of it and also mixing things up. It's just a heck of a lot faster. So that's the main reason why I'm converting over to the powdered version and getting away from using something like this. I'm not complaining about the General Hydroponics Floor Series at all. It's worked out excellent for me over the years. I've had no complaints, but I'm going to try to simplify things now. If you're interested in either one of these products, there will be links in the description below. There are affiliate links. So if you do decide to buy from those links, I do receive a small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.